This is Dolany TV, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another Edmonton Oilers discussion. My face is a little bit dark. I want you to show and see exactly how hot it is down here outside of Calgary today. Further to that, we've got actual Oilers news to talk about. I don't need to tell you how my day is. I've been to enough people about that. Let's get to the news, shall we? DJ Gams, Joseph Gambardella is back. And let me tell you, Ken Holland, in his first player move, other than... Joachim Nygaard, going to get roasted again, give it another shot, don't shoot the messenger. However, back to the point, I'm having too much fun, I am absolutely fried, uh, really hot out there. Joseph Gambardella, the first Oilers roster player from 1819 to sign a deal under Ken Holland. This is where it gets absolutely fun for the Oilers, right? Obviously a guy who needed a contract, was going to get a contract, has earned every right to be playing for the Oilers next year, playing for a spot at least, I guess. Not maybe, not for sure a roster spot, but definitely playing for the Oilers, that's for sure. He's 25 years old, he'll be 26 in December, so three months into the season roughly, I guess. Two months technically, and then December's month number three, however you want to dice the lettuce. Um, Frank, nothing's making sense in my head. Anyway, back to the point about Ken Holland is the fact that Ken Holland did this so well. So essentially, right, the cap space goes up year over year generally. I mean, players as they age up until they get to their 35 plus years usually get pay increases every contract and usually they get a little bit more term. However, when Joseph Gambardella signed his entry level deal in 2017 with the Oilers, he signed for $725,000 for two years. That brought him through two years ago and of course this year, which seen him play 15 games in the NHL, as well as adding three assists to get his first career points in the NHL. Now, the other point you have to look at is his absolutely electric numbers down there in Bakersfield. Two points off a point per game. Guys, if he would have played all those games that he missed playing for the Oilers in Bakersfield, whew, Bakersfield would have been even better than they were. Uh, you can argue about the playoffs, but let's not go there today. 48 points in 50 games played, 29 goals 19 assists. He was the second best goals per game scorer in the AHL this year. Guys, that's, I mean, don't read too, too much into AHL stats. There are anomalies one year to the next, typically when a player tries to make the transition to the NHL. However, that's a heck of a stat. And at worst, this contract I'm about to tell you about, the two-year extension for Joseph Gambardella that Ken Holland inked him to is going to look like an absolute win, even if he plays in the AHL next year because Bakersfield Condors fans love him and because with that 15 games of experience, he is a guy you can call on and rely on to give you some hard minutes in the NHL. Now, that's where we go. Like I said, 17 through to 19, that two-year deal, $725,000 for Joseph Gambardella per year cap hit. That's the fun number. Well, guess what? Let's go talk about this, the cap hit for Joe Gambardella in 1920, what's 50, or what's, yeah, yeah I guess, what's $50,000 between friends on a de devalued contract? That's essentially what this is. He signed two years, $1.4 million, so that's only $700,000 per year. Go back to my point right off the start of the video where we're talking, hey, you know what? Ken Holland showing and proving and uh, actually getting a good deal for the Oilers you sign a guy for $25,000 less, and this is moving in to the rest of the video. This is where we get to have the fun, is we get to talk about what Joe Gambardella may bring to our Edmonton Oilers next year. I should have had this ready. I don't have this ready. Bear with me. I'll stammer my way through it, but uh, stutter, I guess, the word. Hold on. There you go. You see that? You hear that? Uh, let's go get to the poll, which you guys were talking about. Let me get the snipping tool up here on the screen. And you guys, I put out a poll about uh, nine hours ago from the time this video was recorded. And I asked basically what you think Joseph Gambardella is going to do this year. And it's, it's interesting because I think uh, you guys really responded well, honestly, in my opinion. Because I had, what, 135 votes up to the point that I'm trying to put this into the video. So you give me a second here to hang with me and should be able to get this now. There it is. And there is the poll. Let's get it 
public and let's get it there we go bang see i can do things on the fly let's get that a little bit smaller so as you can read that and see my face at the same time there we go so question i put out gambardella has signed to an extension in my mind that was supposed to be in my mind not i'm my mind uh this pretty much solidifies he will have a spot on the nhl roster how much can he help next year in your mind well big old option number one he'll be a great third fourth line guy now this is obviously where i'm going with the video joseph gambardella signs a two-year extension with the oilers that means he's around for more than just one year this isn't a warm body situation kind of deal that the oilers typically do with depth players However, you look at this, Joseph Gambardella, where does he fit on the NHL roster? Hard fourth liner, yes, I'm not going to deny that. However, you talk about a guy who scored 29 goals, 48 points in 50 games in the AHL this year. He'll be a great third to fourth line guy. That's about 53 on 53 percent on 135 votes feel. And the reason I strongly identify going that way is because you look at the kind of complex player he can be obviously as i said goal scorer as well as great hard working maximum effort fourth liner in the nhl guess what on the oilers injuries happen on the oilers toby reader doesn't perform on the oilers lucic somehow still has a roster spot so to say that joseph gambardella can't be a third line player for the Oilers at some point. Now I'm not saying day one, day four, day nine, game 27 of the regular season. I'm saying somewhere maybe with an injury game 55, he's a consistent for 10 or 15 games on that third line, a third line that should, if Colby Cave is indeed the centerman there, steps up and delivers, should be productive as well offensively. So uh, suddenly, there you go, all of a sudden, we're starting to get an idea of where Joseph Gambardella could fit. Obviously, lots to be figured out. Don't shoot the messenger again. This is in, what, J May, May 29th. We haven't even hit June yet, and we're kind of trying to figure out where this guy who signed a $700,000 cap hit contract for next year fits. The science is not exact. And then, well, number uh, option number two, 12% on 135 votes. So this is roughly more than about 15 votes. Went could really surprise like he did in the AHL this year. I already think I touched on that. And 18%, this is the, uh, this is the caution that we like to throw in, uh, into everything we do. He could just be another warm body. In 15 games, three assists making your transition to the NHL, that's pretty much all you're going to be, especially on the Oilers in 2018-2019. We had, most nights, uh, at least 11 warm bodies in the lineup. That's about it. That's all they were good for. Um, number four, what's that thing I say? What's that thing you guys say? That's, that's what I've been trying to coin, is this whole show and prove theory, right? Ken Holland's got to do it. He's done it a little bit with this contract. Dave Tippett's got to do it. And now Joseph Gambardella, a guy who gets signed to a lesser contract to hopefully have more playing time in the NHL, has to show and prove. That's what 11%, so, uh, well, just 14 votes. 14 votes is the rough math there. And now you guys down there in Bakersfield, I know there's at least seven of you based on the poll. I'd like him to stay in Baco. We love him here. Well, guys, I think the question is, where do the Oilers want to play him? I know you love him. I love him too. We're going to have some divides on that front. But in all, we're one big dysfunctional family, and that's the way it works here in Oilers land. Whether you're the Condors, Wichita Thunder, you're a major junior player with a contract to be signed with the Oilers this offseason. Either way, we're just all having fun with it. Guys, that's my breakdown of Joseph Gambardella. I think big points here. Cheap contract. Small victory for Ken Holland. Great contract to get. Joseph Gambardella in the lineup, and it's only plus side there. Did I mention this is probably as close to a league minimum contract as the Oilers will get for a roster player in the NHL next year? Do we run into some magic like we did with a guy like Alex Chieson? What do you figure? Let me know in the comment section down below. Guys, I'm Tyson, this is Stolen TV. Like I said, that comment section down below, you want to be in there. That is where the hot, heated discussion happens. And as well, if you're venturing down there,
hit that subscribe button. Leave a like if you enjoyed the discussion. If you hated it, leave a dislike. It's all engagement at the end of the day. As always, I am up on out of here.